Good morning, folks. Plasma filament doing tricks in the corona. Today we've got weather, earthquake, mercury, scientists making jokes, and some high-quality cosmology. Let's get started at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the last 24 hours on our star with the coronal holes easily visible. That's going to include the north towards the end of this sequence. Bright active area still incoming as well, but it's not magnetically complex and not producing solar flares. When you look at the sunspot group, it's two main cores that stick out to you, but when shifting to the magnetism, we find them both blue, positive, and even with red negative surrounding them, there needs to be actual negative sunspots there to flare. The solar wind has stabilized on a plateau, and even as the phi angle flips up in blue the last day, the steady stream has passed its prime and geomagnetic conditions have been calming back down. Top geophysical event of the last day struck Idaho. It was the largest earthquake in decades, woke residents, but apparently has not caused major injury or damage, as lucky as you get there. Not so lucky in Iran, however, where a 10-day flood event is ongoing, and while things should be drier for them over the next few days, the damage is done. Region has been showing serious flood events every day since March 23rd. Speaking of extreme rainfall, one way or the other, we've got new maps and it's more than just the rainfall, it's surface water root zone hydration, groundwater content overall. Grace Foe, the gravity satellite, is able to pinpoint the slightest variability. We have mapped the rivers, lakes, and streams of the world's surface and their runoff and flow. But beneath the surface lies a new world of tilts, density, accumulation, and runoffs. We're literally just scratching the surface. Folks, if you are not familiar with Bepi Colombo, it is going to get into the inner system and get the best science on Mercury ever. And part of that journey includes numerous acceleration gravity assist flybys of the planet. And one is coming up in just nine days. ESA plans to hold their precautions and social distancing for the upcoming critical moment. High fives from across the room are expected to fly. And in that same vein, turns out that with all of us stabled, the Earth moves less. The seismic shaking of the planet has calmed, especially in the noise range. They've never heard the inside of the Earth quite like this before. Hopefully, they'll take the opportunity to learn something. Anyway, there is no learning to be done from these next two papers. It is April 1st, and you'll need to have eyes peeled for nonsense April Fool's jokes today. Some are hard to spot, and some are much easier, like when they joke about vampire astronomy. It's exactly what it sounds like. And so we move on to something only half as balderdash. The object, the observations, the data, the destroyed star caught in the act of death. Those are real enough. But the conclusions are based on assumptions and best guess cosmology and astrophysics, and so they say it's a black hole, a rare intermediate size one. Now it's critical we remember that the plasmoid or plasma nucleus of these systems behave similarly to what they say, but grasp a very different truth than the inescapable blackness the mainstream describes. And so last but not least, let's do some real cosmology. We're around the outside of the galaxy where they have discovered massive plasma halos co-rotating with the galaxies fed by helical spiraling vortex filament currents from the cosmic web, and today we get outstanding confirmation of that halo's extra energy, and the critically important piece for debunking the dark matter-driven galactic rotation problem. The CGM has the lion's share of the baryons, which means that when you see a beautiful galaxy and its stars shining bright, you need to know there's much more stuff out and around the galaxy than there is glowing inside. There is much more stuff out and around the galaxies than there is glowing inside. We greatly appreciate your support. Head over to suspiciousobservers.org. All our free catch-up resources are there. Plasma cosmology, climate, the Earth catastrophe cycle, and more. Website is basically a cheat sheet for the last decade and those to come. We've got your wind map forecasts and shots of our star to close. And of course, we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.